8 Wednesday on A-Channel. Well, there's only one thing that the Dotto children desire under the Christmas tree this year, and that's one of these things here, the iPods. A huge success for Apple. Definitely. It has become the, the ultimate must-have digital music device. Uh, everybody wants one. Everyone's talking about it. Uh, we had an, a great success with the original iPod. We made a mini version of that called the iPod Mini. It's also been a fabulous, fabulous hit, so we're very excited. And now there's a lots of portable music players, but what makes the iPod unique is the interface and how well it interfaces with iTunes. It's the whole ease of use experience thing that Apple's been so strong at. Well, it's a unique advantage at Apple. You know, we build the operating system, we build the hardware, we build devices, the interface design. All those elements are all done at Apple, so we can build a, build a product like the iPod that, that really no one else can. And it's all about user experience. I mean, technically speaking, they're basically storage devices that, that can play back songs or, or store other types of data, which we'll talk about in a second. Let's talk, though, about some of the peripherals that people are making for the iPod, because the whole industry has sprung up around the iPod, and these, if the main gift is going to be an iPod, these make great stocking stuffers. It's a real testament, too, to the, to the popularity of iPod when you see just the this is the, the volume of different kinds of devices that you can plug and work with that actually extend the iPod experience into ways that we I think we'd ever originally even thought of. Okay, let's start with where do you like to listen to your iPod? Where do you like to listen to it? In, in the car. car. In the car. <laughs> and they got these these are most of these accessories come from a company called Belkin. You can find them online. But this one here is so cool. These are cups that go in your cup holder. And there's three different sizes that ships with this kit. And they got this iPod holder that screws into the cup. See that? So you just screw it into the cup. Find the cup holder that fits your car. Do you have one of these? Yes, I do. <laughs> and they got a huge suction cup here on the back. So you pop your iPod in, drop it down. And as soon as you put it down, because of that metal backing, it just <laughs> it's stuck there. Exactly. It won't move. And, and then you can use that in your car so your iPod's safe while you're listening to tunes. And you can also navigate it. Like it's like you have full access to all the controls. That's right. You should, should be driving. You should stop while you're changing your songs. Stop while changing the songs. Yeah. Fair enough. And if you need more car stuff, now I have to, there we go. Let's get that out. More car stuff, we have a car charger kit because uh, how often do you forget to charge or plug in your iPod so that you don't have a fresh battery? Now this one here goes into your cigarette lighter adapter or they, I guess they call it the alternate charger now within cars. And, but it's cool because it's got an additional little jack. So some car stereos have these jacks, so you can jack directly into the car stereo. That's right. Um, there's a number of different ways to do it. Um, I've spent time in the new, the BMW has brought out an adapter now. Uh -huh. So you plug that in, and you can control your iPod right from the CD changer in the front, or even on the, uh, the steering wheel controls as well. It's, it's incredible. And the key to all the success in the cars, as far as the iPod, are several of these which are on the marketplace. These little FM broadcasters. That's a great way to describe them, too, because it, they're, they're kind of like your own personal radio station transmitter. Uh, you plug it into your iPod, you select your favorite songs, and then you just uh, locate a radio frequency where there isn't a station already, and now you're broadcasting the music from your iPod to your car stereo. That is, yeah, and it, the frequency completely adjustable through the whole FM spectrum. And it, this isn't just for music, although it's great when you're traveling cross-country and there aren't radio stations available to help you pass the time. But for things like downloading talking books, magazine, newspaper articles, there's lots of audio sites on the web that you can download music right into iTunes or download books and, and other talking materials into iTunes. And in that case there, it stores even more because it's at a lower bit rate. For sure. And what I like to do is when I go to a friend's party, I'm not happy with the music that's being played. I just bring out my little iPod with my uh, transmitter and I, I DJ the party. From, from <laughs> there you go. And we, we've got it playing right now through on the boom box here uh, that's tuned into this frequency. It's the exact same process if you're in your car. Great additions for the car. Now, yeah. other ways that people travel with their iPod and use their iPod is, is think about what the iPod is. is it's a great big honking hard drive, a 40 gig hard drive in this particular case. 40 gigs is how Ten, many? 10,000 songs. That's more songs than I own. So I got a whole bunch of space for rent. So people have found creative ways to take advantage of that space. People travel with these. They travel with digital cameras. We take lots of digital pictures. Sometimes you've got to take a notebook along in order to download the pictures. That's not always convenient when you're traveling. That's right, because a lot of times people are worried, you know, worried about maybe they getting them stolen, but people are always traveling with their, with their iPod. Sure, you keep it in the iPod to listen to music on the plane, on the bus, on the train. So here are two options that we have for downloading our photographs into the iPod. This one here is a simple cable connection. It plugs your USB cable from your digital camera into the iPod through this cable here, and you just transfer your photos. It's a great way for storage. 
the way I like is this one here. This is a media card reader. So we can take our media card out of our digital camera, you slide it in to the media card reader, and it has, again, it's all set up for travel. It's got a nice packaged cable here. Let me plug this cable in and take a look at what happens when we do that. The iPod jumps over right away into the photo mode and allows us to download the photos. There it is. It's asking us to import the photos. I'm going to import the photos that we've just taken here, and now it's moving them across into the iPod and storing them. So we just can store an awful lot of images in 40 gigabytes of space. That's right. And people realize, too, that the iPod works with, with Mac or PC, so now you can plug that into your PC as well, and those photos then can download right to your PC's hard drive, either laptop or, or desktop computer, and now you can you know, edit them the, the same way you would do any other digital photograph. The last thing that we're going to show you is this thing here, which is a little microphone for doing voice dictation with your iPod. Oh, yeah. And th these have been really exciting because you could spend quite a bit of money buying a dedicated digital micro recorder, as, as they're called. Now you already have an iPod. Um, in fact, if your iPod's empty, you plug in one of those microphones, you could record up to 14 weeks of continuous meetings. So I'm going to, as soon as I plug it in, it turns into a little voice recorder here. I'm going to quickly record a quick memo. M memo to self. Uh, make sure that you get lots of this good stuff for under the Christmas tree. I'm going to stop it and save it. There we go. Right. And then when we drop this into the into the cradle, dock, into the dock here, yeah, yeah. it does. It starts to synchronize with with iTunes. So iTunes, of course, was the digital music jukebox, but now automatically we didn't have to adjust any software or install anything if I go right down here to uh, voice memos you see there's a new playlist that's already been created with your new memo so let me just double click and you'll hear it playing memo to self uh, make sure that you get lots of this pretty good quality the and the photos downloaded at the Stop same it. time exactly oh that's great stuff so as you can see there's a world of small peripherals that really extend the world of iPod dramatically